guys, Rare McCoy 401. Welcome back to my channel. I We're going to jump right into I have shampooed my hair with Hawaiian Silky 14 in 1 Miracles. And look, I had this. I used it one time and I used it again because I'm like, I need to start using my product. And no, I'm not sweating. This is my hair. <laughs> but this is a hair so soft shampoo. It is telling the truth, okay? When you shampoo in your hair, this makes your hair really, really, really soft. So I went over it twice with my hair, and I'm going to leave some of the miracles down in the description box because it also has an apple cider vinegar in there to help seal, seal the cuticles for the frizz look. So I went with this bad boy. And then I also went and used my Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Curls. This is the deep conditioner. And I let that sit for three minutes and rinsed it out. And I've separated my hair. Parts may not be straight because you know I don't deal with the parts that much. But we're going to be using two products, okay? I'm going to be using my Bella Curls uh, Coconut Cream Curl Defining Cream as my moisturizer. Okay, and then I'm going to be using my melanin, Whitney, Nap J85. I'm going to be using that to, as definition, additional moisturizing and additional definition because they both do the same thing. Okay, and we're going to jump right in it. I'm going to start with the Bella, and I'm going to start in this back part that I have down. And I'm just going to take some. And it's very creamy. Not thick, but it's creamy. And I'm just going to add it back here. I'm going to be trying to do a protective style by putting in some twists. Notice I did not say mini twists. Because mini twists, oh my God, they take forever. But they're so beautiful. So I figure if I could get some mini twists in with some regular twists and we get going that way, that, that would be good. That would be good. Okay. So let's see. I don't want to start mini, mini. I think I'm going to start with this size. Yeah. I'm going to start with this size. It's not medium. It's like right in between. Okay. So, let me put this up. Yep. And so, it is already moisturized. I'm going to use my Deming brush to go through. Make sure it's detangled. Now I'm going to open up my melanin, which my melanin is thick. Okay, it's moisturizing and it helps work good for definition. Okay, and I don't plan on, I really plan on wearing this twist. Um, I don't plan on doing a twist out. So I'm really working this product in. And then if I have to refresh my hair. I think I may get two or three days out of this. If I have to refresh my hair, then I'm going to use some uh, aloe vera juice. So, I wish you could see it better, but twist. My first twist is always tight. And I try to twist tight, twist, twist tight, twist, twist tight, and twist. And sometimes my hands will slip. But you got to grab it and keep on going. I try to coil the ends. Okay. Grab this piece. The moisturizer is already there. Melanin. And I'm working it from the roots to the tips because I really want this to last 
And then if I do decide to do a twist out, then it'll be moisturized and pretty tight. Twist tight. If you feel your hair pulling from somewhere, just reach back there and take it down. So I have two moisturizers. The shampoo and deep conditioner was on point. And I always try to coil the ends, okay? All right. Back is done. I'm gonna show you all on this little piece right here. Now these may be a little, they may be a little smaller and then get a little bigger right here, okay? I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer, which is the Bella. Work it all in my hair. And I noticed that my hair is trying to go into a wash and go early. But, nope. to start on this and I'm trying to catch these little ends right here let me go in with some melanin and I use a generous amount okay I use the melanin I use the melanin. Do you hear me? Okay. And let me show you a trick. What I did was, I went and found some of my ORS Curls Unleash, the Curl Curling Booster Gel, and I raked it in here. Because this part is the awkward stage, okay? You got the little awkward. And I'm going to try to just flat twist it. And then that way I'll be able to keep this part off of my ears. These are all my agitated places and then at the end of it I got that one twist trying to get in there I'm going to twist it and coil it okay that way Don't take much at all. And that part wants to go to doing a donkey. I just put a little gel on there. Keep it kicking. Because these twists are going to cover that anyway. But you see the twist right there. And that part right there is really just too short to do anything with. Moisturized it. Now I'm gonna go in. Yeah, and I'm moisturizing this little this section, these this little section over here, I'm moisturizing it all together, and I'm putting the um the melanin on it all together. Okay. I'm gonna take it down and where there's a twist out or not. Me, I may if it starts looking better, I may rock, try to rock it for a week. 
and then find another protective style. Like some flat twist or something. And you see my twist are getting a little bit bigger. Already moisturized. Add in the melanin. If you're putting it up and you're putting it up right, this could take some time. This could take a good 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your hair. I've actually seen some ladies where it takes them an hour, 30 minutes. And I'm not going to say I'm just going to stand here for an hour, 30 minutes. I may just go watch me some YouTube or something or something. But always try to make sure your roots are tight because that part will be the first part to flare up, puff up, all of that. And if you want to throw a couple of flat twists in there, you can. As you can see, I'm going to show you in just a second, that little flat twist that I put in, you're not even going to be able to tell it's there. You're just going to see the end of it. And this side is done. And that flat twist is right there. But you can't see it because these are hanging over it. Did it focus? Yeah. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start on this side. And then this side will be my last. Which actually I may just go ahead and knock this part out. So that I can show y'all if I decide to do a couple flat twists right there or not. But stay tuned for either music or a complete head. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
tie. I'm so proud of my hair. Now on some of these, I forgot to tell you, the ones with the real straight ends, I probably will take a perm rod and just close it, just let it wrap. That's on some of them. I don't like the straight ends just to give it that coil that it needs that's probably because I use a very generous amount of melanin or she said be generous so if natural 85 say be generous then I'm gonna be generous this one though though but I work outside and well, what I'm going to do with this one is just go ahead and twist it. And then I'll get me a uh, bobby pin and have it going over that way and it'll mold. There's so many things you can do with your hair, guys. So many. So many. Melanin. And this is Old Faithful, I'm sorry. Bella Curls, Dollar General. One of my first go-tos right here. Bella Curls. And this is the Coconut Cream Curl Defining. And I also have, I have the um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil uh, by them. And I have the Leave-In Conditioner by them. Yeah, they're pretty good. And then Three Minute Miracles Curls by Ozzy. This is the, where is it, Deep Conditioner. Yeah, use that. And then the Hawaiian Silky 14 Miracles in One. Yeah, use that. So, and just in this corner, and I cannot wait to do a wash and go with this. But this is a little packet I got, the ORS Curls Unleashed. This is the boosting jelly. Yeah. I just use that right there. So you can't even tell that flat twist is in there. And the end of it is right there. So perfect. Perfect. <laughs> See. Yeah, yeah.